jumping through the Actually, we're kind of a neat assignment today to come down and talk to uh, Jesse Spencer, uh, starring in an uh, in NBC, uh, NBC new drama oh, yeah. uh, called Chicago Fire. Yeah. Uh, Jesse's uh, playing, uh, let's get this right, uh, Lieutenant Matt Casey yeah. of Truck 81. That's and, correct. Uh, we got a great opportunity to come down here today and talk with uh, you and some of the members of the cast a little bit about your experience and um, you know playing a firefighter. Yeah. Uh, a little bit about uh, hopefully what that uh, you know for you as a as an actor as well as what it's going to do for us as a fire service. Right. And, you know, if you've got a couple minutes, what would you like to you know tell the firefighters about uh, you know the job and, and what maybe the public's perception about what we do and those types of things? Is there anything there you'd like to you know kind of pass along about your observations about uh, you know working as an actor in our world and, and you know what we really do? Is that in, in terms of uh, uh, fighting building fires this is completely new to me but what um, the, the one thing that really uh, you know struck you know that I've, I've I picked off straight off the bat was you know that th these guys are really I mean they're really um, open honest really lovely guys you know they're, they're very patient you know I think in terms of people who have to deal with uh, stressful situations I think there's a certain uh, personality type you know that has to be able to deal with that and um and these these guys are just really really lovely open guys you know and their you know their personalities and their sense of humor really um is really magnetic and you can you know you know we love them they're our boys now great, great. you know Okay, uh, still on the set here at Chicago Fire. Uh, get a great opportunity to sit down and talk with the engineer of Truck 81. Uh, when you leave the set and, and talk to uh, you know uh, to, to Hollywood or family or friends that, that aren't in the fire service, what do you what do you tell them about uh, the, the the experiences that you're gaining from this in terms of what maybe the the public or Hollywood's perception about being a firefighter and, and, and working in our career is versus what they they may have seen on TV or in the movies before. One of the actual firefighters that's on set with us shared with me the other day, um, he was saying how he was uh, at a house and there was a big fire burning and they knew that they had a three-year-old kid somewhere in that building uh, and there was no way to get in, there was, no, there was no decent entry point, they were waiting on hoses and finally they get the water going and they go inside and the kid doesn't make it uh, and then he has to go home to his three-year-old daughter after having just pulled this this young lady girl uh, you know a three-year-old girl out of a fire who didn't make it and be able to keep that uh, in himself and not bring that out to his wife and not you know not try to like upset her even more and you know and I, you know to kind of to hold that kind of stuff in you know as actors uh, we all have our own personal problems. We all have things that we hold in. But like, I think the beauty of being a performer is that you get the opportunity to kind of vent that frustration through a different outlet, you know, through a different human being. And in that way, you know, you, I, I think it's kind of a healthy, a healthy exercise of release. And with a lot of you guys, you know, I was, I was asking them. I was like, well, how do you compensate for something like that? You know, like, how do you even, how do you, how do you like, how do you uh, reconcile that in your head? You know, and uh, I, and he was like, you know. We were we happened to be at a at a baseball game, and he was like, "You do stuff like this, you know," and it's like uh, you hang out with your boys, you go out to games, you forget about things, you try and just kind of get through the day. And I think that that is almost as important to being a firefighter as actually fighting the fire. The fact that you know you have each other for those moments that no one else will understand, and no one else will be able to kind of uh, fully realize for themselves. And it's why I think it's like. It's, it's easily the most significant brotherhood of men and women that I've ever had the pleasure of being around. All right, Charlie, thanks for taking some time out of the, out of the set and work here to come uh, spend a little bit of time with Fire Engineer and you kind of talk about the show a little bit. And uh, we've had a real fun day kind of talking to some of the other cast members Good. about uh, some of their roles and things like that. But uh, you get to be that guy. You get to be the candidate, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to be the new guy, the, <laughs> you know, the, the guy that all, all the nicknames and, and, and the that fresh come meat. Candy I yeah. get a lot. Uh, what are the other ones? Yeah, God, this goes on and on. <laughs> I think uh, uh, the fire service is unique from other businesses in, in, in any way. You, you, you think you're finding <laughs> some different... Are you uh, kidding me? A firefighter is, I mean, he's the ultimate hero and selfless completely beyond belief. I mean, you're literally going into a burning building where people could be hurt or dying, risking your own life to take them out. And that's, I mean, that's the bottom line of the job. That, I don't know, I don't know any other job like that. I mean other than 
God, being being in being in the military, you know, sure, maybe. it's like, okay. yeah. it's it's. Yeah. I think it's one of the most selfless acts. It is. All right, uh, continuing our discussions with some of the cast and uh, very important people down here on the uh, on, on the stage of Chicago Fire. Uh, Chief, if you can just give us a little bit more uh, in, in, into what your role is. Uh, I, I bet you that's kind of a challenging role, trying to marry Hollywood to the real world of, of firefighting here. Had fun with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a blast. It's, it's uh, really because, I, because I'm a writer and that's, wh that's what I do. And, and here I'm a storyline consultant and I work both with the writers and with the actors, uh, hands-on and physical with the training all the way from the uh, storyline development to make sure that it's, uh, it, it's real somewhat. Uh, almost every story comes from, it was inspired by real life uh, stories throughout my career and, and careers of others that I've witnessed, uh, but we make changes. It's not about the, 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 just the story or the action, it's about the firefighters and the paramedics. And I think, uh, I think the average firefighter or medic around the country is gonna be impressed. They're going to be represented well, going to be represented as hardworking, noble people with the cause, uh, yet there's, uh, it's reality. You know, you're going to have a, different types of personalities and personal problems uh, that, that pop up, but uh, the action is going to be real good. And the emotion, uh, even more powerful than the action, I think, is the emotion You'll notice that there's a lot more cop shows than there is fire shows because fire shows are more expensive to make. The elaborate sets that are needed for each show and a much higher special effects budget. So that's uh, kind of slowed down uh, the number of fire shows throughout the years. So uh, John Q. Public, they know what police officers do for a living and they really don't know what firefighters do. There's been comedic shows uh, there really hasn't I don't think there's ever been anything like what we're doing it's uh, Dick Wolf production it's second to none in in, uh, in just the uh, money spent the uh, the special effects the the stunt crews the the cast it's uh, bringing uh, <clears throat> what we do uh, to the to the public, they're going to be able to see through firefighters' eyes and kind of uh, we know, you know, Forrest, you know, when we go to work, we're we're working with 1,300 degree temperatures over our head. We're working in zero visibility. Uh, on NBC every Wednesday night, people will be able to see what we do.